Okay people, so what workstation do you need to get the very best out of Adobe Premiere in 2019? Well, we're going to talk about that very thing right now. So over the next few minutes we're going to give you all the information you need to be able to buy the very best workstation and get the super sweet workflow that you've been looking for, well, right now. So welcome, welcome to What The Spec. In this series of videos, basically I'm gonna be answering questions asked by you. We're gonna be covering the top applications, so applications that you use, and talking about how to get the very best out of those applications. So we're not gonna be talking about minimum requirements or how to just get the application to start up. We are talking about how to get the very best out of that so that you get the best workflow possible and you get the, the, what, the best experience. So without further ado, let's crack on and talk about how to build the very best workstation for Adobe Premiere. So what's the very best processor for Adobe Premiere in 2019? Well, without a doubt, it's Intel's i9-9980XE. That monster of a processor is just gonna blitz absolutely everything you throw at it. If you wanna save a few hundred pounds, then it's well worth considering the step down, which is the 9980X. You're gonna save two or 300 pounds on that chip, and it's still phenomenal. If you wanna move on from that, and you're maybe trying to squeeze the budget, but it's looking for that sweet spot between performance and price, then have a good look at Intel's i9-9900K. That is a wonderful processor, and it's kinda of utopia stamp of sweet spot of the month on that chip. It's also worth mentioning if you're an AMD fan or you're looking for an AMD chip, or maybe you're looking for a system on a slightly tighter budget, then AMD's Ryzen 2700X is also a phenomenally good performer in Adobe Premiere. Okay, so is it Intel or AMD, Team Red or Team Blue? Well, Intel kinda picks the post when it comes to Adobe Premiere workflows. You will find that it's just generally with its higher core frequency faster, um, you'll find opening applications, running things like warp stabilization, saving projects, live playback, all of these things are just gonna run better if you can get a higher single core frequency. And for that, you wanna go with Intel. So Craig, do more CPU cores make Adobe Premiere faster? Well, yeah, they do. Um, up to about eight cores is your sweet spot. Beyond eight cores, you're getting, you know, it's the law of diminishing returns. It's not gonna make it super fast. But if you can get a chip with a high single core frequency and eight cores, then you're good to go. So how about Intel's X series of processors? Are they good for Adobe Premiere? Well, yes, they are. If you're gonna be working on 6K or 8K footage, then the X series of processors are gonna give you the ability to stack loads and loads of RAM into your workstation, and that's really gonna pay dividends on your workflow. Okay, how about Intel Xeon processors? Are they any good for Adobe Premiere? Well, the Xeon chips, they don't really play a good game for Adobe Premiere. They generally have a slower single core frequency, and while they are made for long-term reliability, we've tended to find that, well, there's nothing wrong with Intel's chips. I can't actually remember an Intel chip failing. So yeah, stick with the Intel i-series, core series, sorry, um, and you'll be good to go. So AMD or Nvidia, which graphics card is best for Adobe Premiere? Well, the driver stability and long-term reliability of Nvidia's cards have just always meant that that's been the easy option at Utopia. We generally always opt for Nvidia when we're specking up an Adobe workstation, and you'll be good to go. So what graphics card's gonna give you the best performance in Adobe Premiere? Well, the good news is Nvidia's new RTX range of cards are benchmarking really, really well. We would recommend looking at the RTX 2070 as the sweet spot. It's a brilliant card, performs great in Adobe Premiere, and is gonna be really good value for money. However, if you are working on 6K or 8K footage, then we would strongly recommend considering the RTX 2080 or 2080 Ti. With its 11 gigabytes of VRAM, it's just gonna be needed for those big, big files. Will multiple GPUs make for a better Adobe Premiere workflow? Well, unfortunately, no. Uh, you really do want one very good graphics card rather than two, three, or even four graphics cards in a workstation. And an Adobe Premiere workstation just doesn't make any difference. It's not gonna help you. Uh, you really do just wanna hold off and get the very best GPU you can um, before you buy that graphics card. So you're thinking about graphics cards, you're thinking about Nvidia, so now you're thinking about Quadro. Does a Quadro card work well in Adobe Premiere? Well, yes, they do. If you need 10-bit color support, they're a must. 
They also give you super stable driver compatibility and reliability, and they also technically are more reliable cards. They're the best of the best, so they shouldn't give you any issues in the future. Um, however, it's definitely worth saying that NVIDIA's GTX and RTX range, they're also super reliable. The driver support's pretty good, and if you don't need 10-bit color, well, you don't need to go quadro. And the sweet spot for performance is still sitting in the RTX range of NVIDIA's cards. So how do you get 10-bit color support in Adobe Premiere? The way we would recommend is always to go with Quadro. There are other options, but just the ease of use, the ease of setup, Quadro just makes sense. So if you need 10-bit color support in Adobe Premiere, choose an NVIDIA Quadro card. Okay, so how much RAM does Adobe Premiere need? This is actually quite straightforward. 32 gigabytes for 1080p footage, 64 gigabytes for 4K footage, and 128 gigabytes for 6K or 8K footage. Remember, this is to get the very best out of this application. You can go for less RAM and still work on these footage sizes, but you're just gonna find that your workflow is gonna be negatively affected. It's gonna slow down. Okay, so what kind of storage should I buy for my Adobe Premiere Workstation? Well, essentially you've got four options, and I can make a whole video, and I'm going to make a whole video on storage. First option, mechanical. You're gonna be able to get loads of storage space, but it's gonna be really slow. The second option, SSD. That's a nice little kind of compromise between size and performance. You're gonna get reasonable sizes for a reasonable cost, but the performance isn't the best. There's also M.2 SSD. It's worth mentioning, just a different form factor. Same performance as normal SSD, so the same compromises. Reasonable storage size for mediocre performance. And then you've also got the very latest M.2 NVMe storage, which is the best performing storage that is available just now. In our minds, we would strongly recommend if you can afford M.2 NVMe, something like Western Digital's new black drives, then go for those. They are super performers, super reliable, and well, they won't necessarily deliver amazing dividends within your workflow. You will notice it massively while moving files around, opening your application, turning your workstation on. Just the responsiveness of the system with NVMe drives is, is awesome. So yeah, Check out something like the Western Digital Black NVMe drives for the best performance in Adobe Premiere. So what actual storage configuration would I recommend for Adobe Premiere? Okay, the ultimate storage configuration for Adobe Premiere consists of four drives, essentially. Your first drive is gonna be for your operating system and for Adobe Premiere itself, plus any other applications you use. Your second drive is gonna be for your project files. That's gonna be for your Adobe Premiere project files and also all the live files you're working on just now. So all the footage, the graphics, everything you're working on just now is gonna sit on that project drive. You're then gonna set up a cache drive or scratch disk and that's gonna help the workflow be like super smooth. When you're scrubbing through a timeline, it's just gonna be like whoosh. And then finally, you're gonna have an archive drive. And that archive drive is essentially gonna be where you're gonna put all your files that you're gonna save and they're gonna go there and that means if you ever need to go back and change something or maybe redo a video, you don't have to redo everything, you've got your storage space there. Now, what type of drives would we would recommend for all four of those? Well, generally speaking, if your budget allows, M.2 NVMe for your first three, and then finally, you want a, a good performing, long-term backup drive, um, mechanical for your archive, because you're gonna need loads of space. Um, it's also worth mentioning that perhaps your archives you can do things like RAID, where you can have more than one drive backing it each other up. And then finally, you can also think about putting them off away from your workstation on something like a, a NAS box of some sort. Again, all of this we're gonna talk about in the future, on a future What The Spec video. Okay, so it's time to conclude. I've given you all the details you need to be able to make a really good choice on getting the very best performance out of Adobe Premiere. So what I'm gonna do now is essentially try and Squeeze that down into about 30 seconds for a takeaway. Okay, so let's go. CPU, you want a high frequency CPU with about eight cores. Intel's i9-9900K is the sweet spot for CPUs. For graphics cards, NVIDIA's RTX 2070 for anything up to 4K footage. For anything above, think about the RTX 2080 or 2080 Ti. For RAM, you wanna be 32 gigabytes as a minimum for 1080p footage. 64 gigabytes for 4K, and for 6K and 8K, you want 128 gigabytes of RAM, and for storage, 
you want to focus on M.2 NVMe. That's, that's where the sweet spot in performance is. And for backup and archiving, you want a good, reliable mechanical drive. There we go, all done. You now know everything you need to know to build the best Adobe Premiere workstation. If you've got any questions, get them down in the comments. You can also go onto our website, utopiacomputers.co.uk. There's a live chat function there where you can speak to the technicians that actually build our systems. You don't need to be buying a workstation from us. You can just come on the site, ask some questions, and then move on. You can also email us, you can phone us, you can hit us up on social media. We are available to help you. I wanna know what you thought of this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you disliked it, I suppose, hit dislike. Um, um, hit subscribe uh, if you want to see more of these videos and um, yeah if you want to kind of choose what the next question is if it's going to be your question then let me know either DM me send it down in the comments and I'll do my very best to give you a full and exquisite answer so that you've got all the answers you need to make the best purchasing decision possible thanks very much see you next time